Hi everyone. This is probably the hardest and most challenging vlogs that I've had to record to date. Not only because I'm recording it on my phone at home, but also because this is one of the hardest and challenging times to be a nurse. A time that certainly no one could realistically have ever imagined. 2020 is the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife to celebrate 200 years after the birth of Florence Nightingale. The strapline of a, of a voice to be heard and nursing the world to health has never been a more poignant phrase. Florence Nightingale was someone who was nurses we admired for her wisdom, resilience, empathy and commitment to her patients. We aren't so different today. I see instances of this every day, nurses and carers in Barchester displaying those very same characteristics and even more so in the last six weeks. A time that the very heart and soul of us as nurses and individuals has been tested and has been thrown into a situation that is emotionally and physically demanding both for, work, for ourselves and for our families. I ask myself, did our nurse training prepare us for what we are enduring at the moment? Could anything prepare us? And then I think, yes, it did. Every day you are facing your own personal challenges, balancing your family commitments. Then at work you face something different. Your teams look to you to lead them out of this with professionalism. They look to you to keep the mood positive and uplifted, even when we feel like being on our own. They look to you to support them when we lose our residents and patients and colleagues. They look to you for leadership, to keep our residents and patients safe, engaged, smiling and celebrating their lives whilst the families are unable to visit. They look to you for compassion and courage when we sit with someone at the end of their life so they aren't alone. It's difficult to articulate this to others, especially the emotional burden that we can carry. I feel proud to be a nurse and even prouder to be the Director of Nursing for Barchester. I can't be with you on the front line at present, but you are in our thoughts every day. The courage and compassion that you show every day does not go unnoticed. We can't understand fully your position from a distance, but there are many senior nurses in the organisation supporting you. I'm working behind the scenes with the strategy team to support you every day, even from a distance, ensuring that you have the latest advice, equipment and support for you to do what you do best care for our residents and patients. Nurses aren't always the greatest of leaders. We like to be practically focused and team orientated. But right now, and each and, each and every one of you needs to be a leader. You need to lead your teams, lead your home, lead by example, lead the profession of nursing to be rightly recognised for what we are and what we're capable of. We are relying on your professionalism and help to help us through these tough times. Barchester is so very proud of you. Please celebrate on Nurses Day. Give yourself a clap and a pat on the back. It would be well deserved. Reflect on this situation. Take some time for yourselves and say a thank you to your colleagues, to your families and your friends who are concerned for you at this time. Thank you and take care. I ask the senior nurses of Barchester to send you all a special message. Here it is, enjoy. Mm -hmm.